Good morning folks, it's a beautiful day here today at the Petronas in MLR2 and yes, this is going to be the first shakedown drive of the Fiat Point Punto So yeah, just a little bit of trivia for you This car was actually made at the Bertone factory uh, instead of the Fiat uh, factory As you can see This is not uh, a 5 ringgit emblem that means nothing No, it's actually for real And he has a really really good interior shot for you this is exactly how the car came, except for that, yes, I scored the original steering wheel, finally got it from Atip's place. I fitted it immediately. It's a sort of a drop the top day, and I'll show you why in a little while, because the Bobby's car is here. His beautiful 6 Series is here, look at that. Now, in so far as a full-on four-seater is concerned, you cannot go wrong with this, with this 6 Series. And of course, my cousin's wonderful new Mercedes E300 is here as well this car is actually green but in certain light darker light it's actually it looks black and here's I guess a contender for Bobby's uh, four-seater convertible sorry I'm just a little bit gobsmacked by how beautiful this car is it is absolutely gorgeous you might remember that I reviewed a Z4 a white Z4 some time ago and it also had the same number, G1337. Well, my cousin sold that car and bought this instead. So proud of him. And uh, yes, we also have a beautiful Toyota Crown here today. The Royal Extra. If you know, I've got a Royal Saloon. This is a Royal Extra. Very, very nice. But uh, something very special. We've got two S Volvo S60s here today. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Beautiful. This is number one. And here is number two, so nice. And representing the old school Volvos, check this out. Hey, hi Bang, good morning. morning. Shall we go? Oh, we want to leave already? Oh, okay, sure. We, sh we shall roll out now. And <laughs> check out this lovely, lovely Volvo. This belongs to Fizz. If you remember, he was actually red at one point. Now it's blue, we've got an SLK there and uh, <laughs> yes, more drop the tops. Beautiful R8 here, another SLK over there. More drop the tops out there. And look at the right height of that Ferrari on air suspension. Beautiful. I'll give you a closer look. Check that out. So yes, there are Ferraris here, there are Miatas here, I'm sure you recognize Bengs, uh, MX-5, that's Jensen's, Bengs and Lenny's, so nice. Chegu Suresh is here with his Lotus, Mike is here with his new 3 Series, absolutely gorgeous cars, even Con is here with his E39, very very nice. So this is just the first just the first uh, video lots more to come we will hey man i'll keep you posted oh there's more cars outside yeah because there was probably not enough space in this parking in the parking of this uh, petrol station yeah. lovely day today hopefully it's a great drive check that out beautiful we've got s2000s there as well nice so more cars outside, lots more to come. Stay tuned. It's gonna be very, very cool. Oof. Lovely. E46 M3. Superb. A Mazda 6. Two Mazda 6s. A very unique color, GT86. Apparently only two in Malaysia. And yeah, the 86 Club is here as well another one I think that belongs to the president of the 80s club morning guys what's up very nice and this gorgeous gorgeous s60 love it absolutely love it so yeah it's gonna be a lovely drive that was the first walk around and even though Bobby dropped the top you can see this he was using the aircon as well <laughs> this aircon water see when you own old school cars you always watch out for stuff like this and then you go and like <laughs> What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, okay, it's water. 
Right, so more to come. Stay tuned. First drive, oh, this is Alex's GT3. Gorgeous. And first drive of the Fiat Punto. Morning, guys. What's up? And here we go. So let's see how she performs. Stay tuned. No, I'm not going to try and keep up with that. Howdy, folks. Yes, I can see my meters because I have actually got the new steering wheel or rather the old original steering wheel inside. There goes Bobby. Oh, this is what I've always wanted to do. Look up and see the sky while I'm driving. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've had cars with sunroofs before, but nothing, nothing can beat this. Really, honestly. If you really want this kind of driving feel, you need to get yourself a convertible because it is awesome. Oh, yes. Absolutely. The car is in my name. I got new road tax. Very, very, very happy. And she's just cruising beautifully. Legal highway speed limit. We're heading to Janda Bay. And uh, oh man, it's just it's just a lovely, lovely day. And I can see the sky while I'm driving. How cool is that? How how cool is that? I think that's Mike behind me. What's up, Mike? Yep, that was Mike. <laughs> you can tell by the DNA tuning sticker. So okay. Let me just enjoy this drive for a while, folks. It's been a long time coming. I'm really, really happy to finally get myself a convertible. So, so nice. Okay, talk to you all soon. I'm, I'm just enthralled. And through the tunnel. <laughs> Look, the top of the tunnel. How cool is that? yes oh yes folks this this is the kind of morning this is the kind of road that a convertible was built for uh, I honestly don't know how to put it into words but it's just so so nice driving on a road like this with the roof down and being just looking up ah, it's just just freaking amazing unbelievable you know it's <laughs> it's been a long time coming I uh, this is one aspect of motoring that I uh, that I've been meaning to explore for the longest time and I'm just just really really happy that it's it's finally come true and I'm just gonna enjoy this drive now for a while back at you soon So we have all arrived safely at Nero Bianco Deli here in Janda Bay. Just a quick shout out to them. This is a very, very nice place. Good coffee. And uh, yeah, we got cats on a hot tin roof up here. Uh, sunning, sunning themselves. And the Punto has made it very, very well. I'm so happy the car just sailed along. I was in like third gear all the way, just cruising along. And uh, okay, just a quick uh, update why I changed the steering wheel. I had not, nothing against Momo, I like Momo steering wheels, but previously the Momo steering wheel was slightly smaller and the, uh, the top part of the steering wheel was like this. And because this is a non-adjustable steering, from my vantage point, which is about here, okay, this is my, like my driving position height. Look at how it, how it would have cut across the, uh, the top of the meter cluster look at that so from this from this is about yeah this is about my driving position this is what i see now unlike before where the try and picture the steering wheel about here this low and it was just basically blocking all my my meters so anyway that's the reason why and uh very happy i managed to get the original steering wheel thank you atip thank you very much and uh yes right across the road we have uh Bobby's 
sick, beautiful six series, and there's Bing taking pictures. Hi, Bing. Uh, a lot of very nice drop the tops here today, and two of my favorites, it, uh, of course, um, excluding mine, would be these two beautiful Mercedes Benzes. Look at that. This is my cousin's car, and this is a beautiful 500 SL. Look at that. How gorgeous is this? And I love those Carlson wheels as well. Awesome, really, 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 really awesome. And something else I want to show you, which is so beautiful. Oh, look at this interior. This is proper old school interior. Look at all the buttons. Excellent. See, convertibles make shooting the interior so easy. I don't think anybody with legs could fit at the back there, but never mind, it's okay. Something else I want to show you that's incredible. Well, since we just saw the 500 SL, look at the difference with the E300 interior. Wow. Yeah, a lot more leg room this time. Oh, drinks. I'm going to churi from my cousin later. This is my cousin's car, so it's okay. It's not theft when it's family. So yes, one car I really want to show you guys, which is so, so cool. Yes, of course, these are all very cool as well. But the coolest car here today, uh, <laughs> you know, in terms of cuteness, has to be this. Look at this Honda Beat. When was the last time you saw a Honda Beat? I think I can count on one hand how many there are in this country. Lovely, lovely little Honda Beat. I actually asked the owner just now to park next to my Punto because it would make my Punto look huge. Look at that. Needs a little bit of fixing. There's a broken tail light there, but can you imagine how difficult it would be to find this? You gotta get it from Japan. You definitely have to get it air flown in from Japan. Uh, I don't think those are the original wheels, but it's okay. It's a Honda Beat and it's manual. Look at that. It's five speed manual. All is forgiven when it's a manual and a drop the top. Lovely. Lovely. So what? It's got rubber bands holding the mirror. It's a Honda Beat. And it's so damn cool. So yeah, here we are at Nero Bianco Deli. The S2000, I mean, we don't need to say anything. Like, it's just, just an amazing car. Also dropped the top. And here comes Mike with his DNA tuned 3 Series. Howdy, Mike. It's so cool. The car sounds wonderful, Mike. Oh, thank you. With your DNA tuning. Thank you. So if you need some tuning done to your car, go see Mike at DNA Tuning right here. You can find him on Facebook, right, Mike? Yep. Yeah, Facebook. absolutely. So yes, today is the 1st of August. It is Merdeka month. And uh, yeah, that's cool, bro. So this, uh, this is Ken's 3 Series, but what's cool about this 3 Series is the fact that it's a 325 manual. If you can see that. Manual gearbox. And a 5 coloured car actually. He counted it for me just now. White bumper, silver uh, skirt, slightly different silver doors, red sunroof. Uh, blue spoiler, but this is a very cool original spoiler from BMW Motorsport. Yeah, this is Ken's project car. And this was almost my car actually, because I it was offered to me first, but I declined and I told Ken about it and he went immediately and bought it. So good on you, Ken. This is Tana's A6 Hybrid, which has been converted with a beautiful body wrap and gold wheels. And of course, Bobby's 6 Series. I was just talking to Bobby just now. He is so happy he did not sell this car. He was actually tempted to sell this car when he bought his uh, Aston Martin, but he decided to keep it. He's only got a year left to pay for it, and then it's all his, and it's still a magnificent car, which he picked up for a third of the price when it was new, and it's still gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I, I guess we realize there's a theme going on here today uh, with drop the top. Half the field today are drop the tops, which is great. And uh, one car that uh, has represented the classics here today, which I'm going to show you right now. Check that out. This beautiful Alfa Romeo. Hello, kitty. This... Don't, don't play in the middle of the road. Hey, you. 
Yeah, you. Don't cross, cross, cross. Faster. Going straight to the Porsche. Mmm. Kitty's got good taste. That car already has a cat. Con. <laughs> there we go. How gorgeous is that? So beautiful. Somebody actually asked me just now while we were at the Petronas MRR2, blah, blah, MRR2 how much is this car? And I said, you know what? Honestly, this car is priceless. There is no price you can put on this car. It is all willing buyer, willing seller. Those who have it usually don't want to sell. And even if they, if you beg them to sell, they're going to give you a really stupid price, 150000 And if you don't say yes, too bad, you know? But if you stick out your hand and say deal, then they're obligated to sell it to you for 150000 But you know what? It's an honor thing. It doesn't matter. Most who have them do not want to sell them. And can you blame them? I mean, look at this car. How beautiful is it? Let me show you the interior. This car was fully rebuilt when, uh, unfortunately, it went into a flood. Look at that. Alfa Romeo, the Crescent Serpent. Look at the interior. Look at that. This car went through a flood and it had to be completely stripped down and rebuilt. And it was. And I'm so happy to see that and hear that because uh, many a time, if a car gets caught in a flood, it is scrapped so yeah beautiful 1750 gtv alfa romeo here today and uh yes if you notice there's a thailand sticker so this car has gone long distance uh Chegu Suresh is here if you remember Chegu Suresh with the mini moak but he didn't bring the moak today he brought his beautiful lotus yeah which was part of the convoy that went for this movie event kendran berat ikut kiri di pawagam 26 november 2020 yeah there's oh wait a minute it's not happened yet, okay. But anyway, this is uh, Chegu Suresh's Heavenly Curry Lotus Elise. One of the most basic, basic cars that you can get. A true roadster. Uh, no power, nothing. Just, uh, just a basic, beautiful, wonderful car to drive. Look at the, look at the seat, yeah? In relation to how... Uh, and you know what? I don't even remember how to open this door. Gosh, I'll open it from the inside. How's that? Okay, I don't even know how to open it from the inside. Great, it's been a while. How the hell do you open this door? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I think he locked it. Okay, never mind. What's the point of locking a convertible? So, what was I saying? Look at the seat in relation to the body. Your butt is literally six inches off the ground. That's how close you are. And there's another one there. I think this is an Evora. Um, I accidentally called it an Exora, and Lotus were not very happy with me. It was an honest mistake, Evora, Exora. No, this is an Exige, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, beautiful. Yes, it's an Exige S. Ah, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous cars. Look at that, the engine right there. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So yeah, lots of a very diverse field of cars here today. We even got a Megan RS over here. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot somebody's laundry, but yes, we got a Megan RS. Gorgeous, a Renault Sport. Absolutely beautiful, and there are more cars much, much further up because, as you know, this this area is uh, very narrow. We don't want to park on the street because the street is just uh, two lanes out here at Nero Bianco Delhi in Jandabai. It's a beautiful day and I'm so happy. It's the first shakedown drive of the Fiat Punto. And I was almost tearing up just now because it's been a long time coming, folks. I, uh, I've wanted a convertible for the longest time and ne never, never could I find one within my Weevil budget. That's obviously way out of my Weevil budget. The SL500s, the S2000s are all out of my Weevil budget. But this, this wasn't. This wasn't. And I'm so happy I bought it. It's a different driving feel. It's a different driving experience. I cannot put it into words. You need to experience this for yourself. Absolutely. So, so happy. <laughs> really. So stay tuned. More to come. There are still certain things about this car that are not perfect. I haven't, I haven't hooked up the ice yet. The in-car entertainment has not been hooked up yet. A uh, few things to do, but it's, it's drivable and it survived the drive really, really well. Very, very happy with this car. Let me give you an external look. 
Here we go. It's so cute. This car was a chick magnet in the 90s, okay? Absolute chick magnet.